Hey, this is Derek at Tech Connection. Uh, once again, filming my work as I go along. Uh, today's project is to fix this mess. So we got ourselves quite a mess of cables here, and then it's even more than it looks like because they got extra switches and all kinds of stuff in there. So this is kind of a disaster. The customer wants to move those items elsewhere, and they got a bunch of uh, computer equipment underneath the counter that they need to relocate and just a mess of wires all over the place so they're really uh, drowning in these things I thought I'd take the time to review since I had just got it and it's my first one the, uh, I'm going to use a wall mount bracket from a company called ICC and this is it right here we're going to mount all of that messy equipment into this frame and make it nice and neat so this is the frame right here and I haven't had a chance to use one of these before but it's pretty cool in that it holds itself up so it's real easy to transport this in the car and all that get into position and then these little guys swivel so that we can move our switch out of the way, our patch panel out of the way when we need to add lines so that's kind of a nice thing uh, also really nice is it came with the full set of screws right about there so we can screw in every single hole if need be it was nice of them to include that and I also did also pick up these are the covers that go over the top of that once it's fully assembled it'll make more sense uh, in a second when I've got it on the wall and just to give you an idea of where we're putting this all of this is moving and it's going to move down here down the hall and I've mounted that plywood board on the studs in the wall and everything's going to be moved over to that side and the frame will be the primary like organization point. Okay, so let's get that thing into position. And there it is up on the wall. So, we're able to get this frame into place without too much difficulty. It was pretty painless and these covers which is this piece here is meant to kind of go on the bottom and give it some stability uh, the reason I'm not going to use it is I've discovered that this knockout here in the back this spot is where any and all cables have to enter if you put those uh, side and top covers on so just to give it a uh, you know, make this job go quicker and be finished faster. I left the covers off so that I could route the cables out the bottom like I've done here. Uh, kind of still staging the work so that we could finish up. Uh, it still looks fine. It doesn't look bad at all. So it kind of looks like this. You can see the sides are enclosed already. So once it's in the position, it'll be kind of underneath of this shelf and nice and neat. Okay. So that's an ICC folding for you wall mount. I'll put a link to it in the video so that you guys can check it out if you're interested. Uh, they make a lot of other equipment, and most of it's been really neat to work with. Uh, this is the first time I've tried this little one. It's pretty simple for the most part. The only trouble I had is, as you'll recall, this area swivels out, right? So that swivels and when you're trying to screw in a switch or something like that it's incredibly difficult because it keeps moving so what I did is I briefly attached this side frame that created a lot of uh, rigidness in the whole frame with those attached and then it was really simple to screw that in then I just removed the frame afterwards so maybe that'll come in handy for some of us and just stack things up so it looks alright and that's it. So this project will be done. Uh, let's see what it's going to look like in just a little bit when I'm finished. Okay. Okay, I finished moving my cables, moved the server, UPS, backup hard drives, the works, plugged in all the patch, ca patch cables. And so you can see here that this is the final product. So it's much nicer than the way they had it. We did have limited space to work with and the cables could probably be a little nicer but overall 
compared to what it was, much nicer. So that's the final product there. And then I think I'll back up so you can see their original workspace where they had everything. And it's just a, a hundred times better than it was. So that's the end of this job. Kind of a, kind of a case study on cleaning up and moving a uh, really messy network into something more manageable. Everything's been routed through the ceiling for this job. And there's a little knockout in this corner here to service the printers. <clears throat> I think if I could uh, make any adjustments to this, I might have used a two-post frame. So this wall, this wall thing, very nice. But there's just so much equipment here that it would have been smarter to remove these shelves, all three of them, and just use a standing rack. It would have looked even better and been more, uh, more modular. We could have added to the network a lot easier. If they have to add another server or another switch, we're kind of we're kind of full. So it would be tricky. So it's about as the most this little guy can handle and the most that this immediate area can handle too. Uh, that's about it. I did enjoy working with the frame. It's very nice and it's very stable. I feel like I should uh, just pull on that for a moment so you guys can see. You can't quite do pull-ups on it, but it's incredibly stable once it's screwed into the studs. So it's definitely a good product. I didn't have to put any uh, L-shaped brackets underneath of it to give it any stability. So from underneath it's just right against that wooden plank into the studs. Very stable. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or just hit me up on yourtechconnection.com and you'll find our contact info there if you want to shoot me any questions privately. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.